All right, guys, today we're going to talk about a question that I honestly see come up in the community quite a bit, at least in the EDC community, and that is, what is the best way to carry a pocket knife? Now, oftentimes there are many ways to skin a cat, of course, and you can always do things like pocket slips and uh, sometimes other alternative methods, but by and large, it usually comes down to a pocket clip. And then the age old question really comes down to, you know, what side does or which you know orientation should you carry your knife in tip up or tip down so today I wanted to go over a few common reasons why I really prefer tip down carry and hopefully this video is insightful useful and if for no other reason it gives you a better justification or a better kind of like idea of why most of us in the EDC game carry tip up and why, honestly, most knives are only made for tip-up carry. Because to be honest, in the sea of my knives, many of them are right-hand, left-hand uh, capable, but most of them are, honestly, tip-up only. And it honestly makes a lot of sense for these reasons. So first off, I think the one that potentially is the most trivial, but if you do live in environments or adverse conditions where, say, sandy, dusty, you do have to take your knife apart on a frequent basis. The most frustrating thing about most tip down designs like you're seeing here, like this Rat 2, um, or sorry, Rat 1 by Ontario Knife Co. is that if you were to carry this knife tip down, the clip would come over your pivot screw. So that means in order to take the knife apart and disassemble it, you would have to first remove your pocket clip. So that is one nice thing if you do carry tip up or tip like this, then at least your clip is in this orientation, thus leaving you perfectly open to disassemble your knife and remove the blade for maintenance, for care and stuff like that. And oftentimes too, um, when it comes down to even stripping a knife like this, if the clip is like this, you can open this whole knife up without having to remove that pocket clip. So it's one less thing, one less inconvenience. You'll see this too on a lot of your spider codes, like this Delica 4 would be the same way. Hopefully you guys can see those pocket screws right there. If you were to run it like that, you would have to remove the pocket clip before disassembling the knife. Now, like I said, this is the case most of the time. Some engineers are a little bit smarter, as you can see on hinderers. You can see that this uh, pocket clip does ride on the side of it or on this Spyderco um, skirmish, or Spyderco, <laughs> Benchmade 630 skirmish, you can see that their pocket clip additionally follows suit. So it is to the side of the pivot. So once again, this isn't a hard and fast rule. There are some knife designs that bypass this, but by and large, most of the ones you'll find are probably gonna be like this. Anyways, okay, so next one up. So for me, and once again, this is gonna be a little bit of a personal preference, but I think for me and for most people, carrying tip up is a more natural position. So that means if say this is sitting in your pocket like this, when you go to reach for a knife and grab it out of your pocket, it means that your hand is going to be basically positioned already naturally to open that knife, whether it's a thumb stud like that, or whether it's a flipper design like this, where once again, you're reaching in, grabbing the knife, your finger's already there, you can just hit the flipper. So for me, and I think for most people, they prefer this over something that it, that is like tipped down because if you say this is in your pocket and you go to grab it, you can only really grab just this top end of it, pull it out, and then you have to adjust your grip to open the knife. Now, once again, I would say with practice, this isn't necessarily a huge deal, but definitely with tip down carry, or sorry, tip up carry, it allows you to do things like have a um, wave feature that would only be possible if your knife was tip up, right? So, you know, it, it does allow for a more natural position, allows for things like wave features to be a viable option. And it just is, like I said, a more natural position, I feel, for most people. Now, in addition, I would say the last and probably one of the bigger reasons, um, at least for like safety wise, for carrying tip up is this last point. And that is that assuming that you are, you know, right handed, you're carrying a right hand clipped blade. Um, if you carry it tip down, like this is how it would sit, you know, in a pocket, this blade can come open like this and there's nothing stopping it. You know, there's nothing stopping this blade from 
um, opening. And if you try to, you know, reach into your pocket to grab your phone or something else like a wallet, that blade could even just barely be out like this and you still have an exposed tip, right? Still could cut you and people honestly have been cut this way. So it is a bit of a safety thing. Whereas if say you have a knife like this tip up in configuration and you are carrying it right-handed, this will likely, so long as you don't have this like in the middle of your pocket, you know, most of us like you put it in your pocket and you push it up against the kind of um, seam or the like far side, far right side of the pocket. And so if that is the case, like most people do, this would be blocked because that fabric of your pant would be putting some degree of passive pressure on the blade. So even if the blade tried to kind of weasel its way out, like like this, it's going to be pushed back in instantaneously and it's going to be a non-issue. Now, to be fair and to the credit of most knives, ironically, this skirmish does not have a great detent, but most knives like will just take this um, Ontario Rat 1. This thing has a really good detent to it. So the probability of this thing accidentally opening is very low, but it is worth noting, right? So like it probably won't happen so long as you have a good detent. And honestly, like I do carry this um, Benchmade skirmish, you know, not every day, but I do carry it, you know, reasonably um, often. And I've never had an issue with tip down. And unfortunately, the Benchmade skirmish was only made part of its design. It was only ever produced as a tip down carry blade. So there's no other option to this. But yeah, I haven't personally had any issues with it. But there are definitely a lot of preferences and like reasons as to why I prefer to carry a knife tip up. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this kind of overlook. I tried to go, go over the biggest points as to why I think tip-up carry makes the most sense. Um, once again, I'm sure I'm missing a few things. And definitely in the comment section below, um, it, however you prefer to carry your knives, definitely sound off. Let me know, you know what your preferred tip-up, tip-down, if you carried in a pocket slip, um, things like that. Uh, definitely let me know in the comment section below because I would love to hear it. Um, yeah. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this was informative and as always, God bless and I'm out.